In this video, we will talk about the analysis of ascorbic acid, also known as vitamin C using HPLC. Banana has long known to be a superfood. It contains a lot of essential nutrients that are beneficial to the human body, such as vitamins and minerals. Ascorbic acid, also known as vitamin C, is abundant in banana containing about 10% of daily amount required. Health benefits of ascorbic acid include prevention of infections, synthesis of collagen, and production of iron. Quantitative analysis of ascorbic acid in various food is important in health and nutrition sciences, food processing, and quality labeling. Some of the methods of analysis are AOAC 967.21 which is based on the titrometric method for vitamin C in preparations and juices. AOAC 2012.22, which is based on the measurement of vitamin C in infant and adult formula. Let's start off with the sample preparation. Peel off the banana skin and cut the banana. Weigh the cut banana into a centrifuge tube. Add in a mixture of acetic acid, metaphosphoric acid, and TCEP into the sample. TCEP is important in the extraction process. Ascorbic acid is easily oxidized into dehydroascorbic acid. TCEP helps to reduce dehydroascorbic acid into ascorbic acid. Vortex the sample mixture. Centrifuge the sample mixture. Filter the supernatant with nylon filter. Dilute the filtered solution. For the standard preparation, ascorbic acid stock solution at concentration of 1000 ppm was prepared using a diluent mixture of metaphosphoric acid, acetic acid, and TCEP. The stock solution was diluted to 7 different concentrations as working standards using the same diluent as the stock solution. Let's move on to the HPLC analysis. Load the samples into the HPLC system. Load analysis method and inject the samples. A calibration curve is built with an ascorbic acid concentration ranging from 0.1 ppm to 10 ppm. Finally, this calibration curve is then used to quantitate the ascorbic acid in banana samples. It is important for the ascorbic acid in sample to be stable and not oxidized during the analysis. In order to evaluate the stability of ascorbic acid in the sample, an extracted banana sample was injected consecutively for 10 hours. The peak areas of the injections were then compared. The peak area of ascorbic acid remains consistent throughout the period, showing that it is stable in the sample. Excellence in science. Shimazu.